I actually forgot it something. I'm going to show you the map, uh, which is a work in progress, but there is a map now, a, a much requested feature. Uh, so you can see the map in the, in the, in the scenario uh, starting screen, but we'll show it in the... Uh, so this is from the previous video. We upgraded this little... Uh, but in the menu, you will find an option to go to the world map. Um, you will see your citadel, which is the first outpost you build, um, uh, which apparently is this. Um, and you can see I've, uh, we can move the with the mouse just click and the camera will move there it is basically the an updated version of the map of the falconeer uh, here you have all these old settlements uh, i've added a little extra render layer that shows a rough approximation of the buildings that are there so if you, if you remember the falconeer you can actually see the outline of sacred steps there uh, and they're super tiny compared to you know uh our uh, I need to make a snap to the center. Uh, our own settlement, which we built in the previous video, which was fairly expensive. You can see I built some other stuff here at some other time. You can see the mining area, the outlets. It's just for fun. So it's a rough that you recognize the shape and you can see you have an influence on the world. Your surveyor is always on the map. Your citadel is all on the map. It is a rough version. It will help you navigate and explore because the idea for the game is that you can go out into this world and interact with the Oberon's Reach and maybe even add it to your settlement uh, as a, a part of it, connected through via trade routes and captains that sail those. Um, so that all all display on the map. I think there won't. That I want to keep the you know everything fairly simple, but there will be a button that shows if you've acquired Oberon's Reach or have a harbor there, probably the harbor. Look, there's a harbor here, and you can click on the harbor and fast travel to that location. So you can, you know, sort of skip to your empire, etc. So you can't fast travel to the other ones that you'll need your surveyor this for this because there's a little bit of danger and combat, uh, and you need to protect yourself. That's part of the fun. But if you wanna, you know, you can fast travel between your settlements. You can't now. This is just the, the updated map. It looks different from the Falconeer. It's uh, visually a bit more distinct. I think it looks more like a an actual old paper map that was the attempt. Uh, look, there's still the Falconeer uh, little icon I need to hide. Uh, the Maw is in there. You can Maw Bridge is gone. Uh, there is a temple here that is a little that's actually an end game wonder, so that needs to be hidden normally uh, and placed by yourself. But you can see all these old places, and uh, for the rest of the year, I'll be working on filling those in, making all the buildings for them, which you can also build yourself. You know, all the Manser buildings, all the Imperial buildings, which are then, you know, which isn't fully fleshed out yet. Um, all the pirate stuff, civilian buildings. Uh, civilian is mostly done. That's what's in the demo. Uh, and and making the world come alive again. You know, with the new quality of, of bulwark. Uh, and for you to explore, interact with, and acquire either violently or by friendly means. So I thought I'd just show you that. It's a big addition that came out. I think at some point during the demo, people were going, oh, we need a map, we need a map, we're getting lost. And I made that little, uh, if you fly or lay that little compass that starts blinking, the little homing beacon uh, on your, you can see coming going up there. That always points to your citadel, your original outpost, your oldest building, technically. Uh, uh, but that's just not enough, you know. There's a north there. You need a map. It will be bound to a button on the controller as well and on the keyboard, uh, I think. Uh, depends, because, you know, the, there's an, the map needs to be built up and uh, stuff like that. So it's not as easy as just putting it underneath a button, but that is the intent. Uh, so that was a little extra on the map, which I forgot in the previous video.